Hello HUD House Hunters, it's Donnie Coram with Remax Advantage and Colorado Springs ForeclosureDeals.com. Today I bring you 759 Memory Lane in Fountain, Colorado, zip code 80817. For a quick proximity check, we're right off of Fountain Mesa Road, which is real close to Fort Carson, real close to Powers, and a decent jaunt from I-25. So easy access to everything, particularly if you're in the military. Now this wasn't a deal until price the price was reduced to 139 by HUD in the last week or so. Now this is a great deal. 139 for 2100 square feet, four bedrooms, two baths, built in 1998. This is an excellent deal, guys, and I really want you to see the inside. Let's head on in and take a look. As we enter into the memory lane property, again, being that the age is pretty new, you're going to have vinyl windows throughout. So you're going to find that you're not going to need to do much in the line of windows. As a matter of fact, guys, in general, this is a purely cosmetic rehab. We've got some paint, we've got some flooring, but I want you to keep something in mind. We're listed at 139200 today. The guy before paid two fifteen dollars for this property. Okay? We're talking about a $75,000 difference between the last purchase price and today's asking price. Now, the market's down a little bit, guys. It's down a little bit, but not $75,000, which makes this an excellent value for someone looking for a nicer, newer home that doesn't need a whole ton of work. Head on back this direction. I think you're going to like this kitchen. This is a galley-style kitchen. Obviously, it's got newer 98 version countertops and cabinets, um, and it's got a nice eat-in area. Uh, it is missing the appliances except for the dishwasher, so you will need to add appliances, but with the amount of equity we're picking up on this property, adding appliances is a small order compared to the amount of gain that you're going to get from this. Heading on back this direction now, this is a ramp style home with two bedrooms upstairs, one bath, and another two bedrooms and another bathroom downstairs. So on the upper level, we're going to take a look at the master bathroom, but before we get there, uh, this is the laundry area. Looks like they took the doors off, so you want to replace the doors. That's something to consider. And then we have the master suite right back this direction. Pretty decent sized master, guys. Over here we have a five-piece master bath. So you've got your tub, the shower is separate, toilet off to the side there, and a whole ton of closet space, ladies. You won't have any trouble fitting your things in there. So that's definitely a nice feature. Everything seems very bright and open and relatively modern. Again, this house is just a little bit over 10 years old. So by house years, this is pretty new. Um, we have another bathroom up top here. So this would be the secondary bathroom. This is where your guests would go. And obviously, this is where the uh, second bedroom bath is located. Tile floors, decent sized vanity. Um, a little bit dated, and there's some paint touch-up work to be done, but there's nothing in here you can't live with. At this point, we're just going to do the cosmetic work that it needs, and we're going to pick up sixty dollars to $70,000 worth of instant equity, which is a pretty sweet deal. We're heading into the basement at 759 Memory Lane, and this is going to be our great room that you'll enter right as you walk in off of the stairs. So this is where you'll set up the couches and the living room furniture, put a TV in the corner somewhere, and this is where you'll lounge. Back here, we have some huge bedrooms for the basement. It just blows me away the way they cut these things out. This is one of the bedrooms downstairs. Again, you got a slight angle back here, plenty of room to fit a bed and all your bedroom furniture. And it's just surprising to find a basement bedroom with this much square footage. This is a nice touch and an excellent guest bedroom or kids' bedroom off into the basement. Back this direction, we'll find the bathroom. Now the bathroom they did an interesting tile job on, but in general it's tasteful. Um, everything looks to be quite functional. Some updating on the caulking around the tiles might be in order, but nothing again that you couldn't live without. This shower is massive. I really want you to see that this you know starts on one side of the room and goes all the way to the other side. Plenty of shower space, so that's a nice feature and uh, something you don't have to worry about updating or anything. I keep that exactly as is, and then. Finally, we head into this other bedroom off of the bathroom. This is actually slightly larger than the master bedroom. So, you know, if you don't mind having your master on the lower level, you could use this as the master. It does have its own bathroom after all. And uh, just tons of square, square footage. Again, this takes up about a half of the lower level of the house with one giant bedroom. So that's a pretty sweet deal. Again, it's got massive closet space and it is attached to the bathroom. So this could just as easily double as a master 
Or if you had a roommate situation, you could go upstairs and that master, you could put your roommate down here in the basement and both of you have the equivalent of a master bedroom. That's pretty neat. You need to see the backyard though. They put a huge concrete pad in and I can't wait to show it to you. So we're out back at 759 Memory Lane in Fountain. And as I was telling you before, they put in, this has to be at least $10,000 worth of concrete. This pad starts at the house here and then goes all the way practically to the end of the yard and it ends, watch me here, way back here. And even with that, you've got a decent amount of grass still available to you. Right over here to the left, this is where you're going to resod this and put seats. So you still got some grass, but if you wanted your own basketball court, guys, this is it. Just a matter of putting the hoop up. This is just a ton of concrete, a lot of playing area here, and obviously less yard to maintain. Again, I cannot stress enough how important this deal is because at 139200 all we can do is go off of what the house sold for before. Now, it may not be worth exactly that today, but it stands to reason that if somebody paid two fifteen dollars for this, somebody will again pay two fifteen dollars for this, and this is a great neighborhood. Its proximity to Carson makes it awesome, and as we get more and more soldiers into town, they're going to be lowering the inventory available down here and obviously driving up the prices with it. So you can buy this house today for $139,200 from HUD, $100 down, payments wandering in the seven to $800 a month range, which blows me away for four bedrooms, two baths, and a two car attached garage with over 2,000 square feet. I love this house, guys, but you need to see it. Give me a call. The number's at the bottom of the screen, 719-649-2500. And don't forget to register online. We're at www.coloradosprings.foreclosuredeals.com. This is Donnie Coram signing off at 759 Memory Lane. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you guys on the next one.